Hello. So, I had a video not long ago about how a bunch of spoiled children sat around our Capitol buildings and whined and cried and moaned and wailed and gnashed their teeth because we didn't want to give up our rights. Well, looky lookaroo. A week's time, not even that, and here we are. Oh, well, all right, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Get up out of the floor. We'll go ahead and give you your little vote on your little law that'll take away the civil rights of people so that you can be happy. Okay, here you go. And so now we find that, uh, come yesterday, they're going to oppose the bill that they had a sit in so that it would be proposed. And, you know, the bill is trash, first and foremost, because... It gets rid of civil rights. I mean, due process? This is kind of an important thing in our world today. Especially considering all the infractions made against it. I mean, of all times. We absolutely need due process now, more than ever. I mean, just look at what's being done. I don't know if we're going to need it as desperately here come January. But you can't trust anybody. So, honestly, we need to keep these rights sacrosanct, you know? We've got to keep people safe until we've got a leader that's not a damn villain. And until, uh, you know, we've got a bunch of freaking underlings, I guess, that aren't actually underlings, that are actually congressional fucking... <clears throat> leaders, perhaps? Maybe? I mean, seriously, this is just it's patently ridiculous. So they're saying they're going to stand against this bill, which honestly is a wonderful thing because it's a horrible bill. It is absolutely atrocious. But, you know, this uh, terror watch list, whatever, no fly, no buy thing, a Kennedy was on it. Ted Kennedy was on the no-fly list. I mean, yeah, he's got a questionable past, well, had a questionable past, but he was on there. There was like seven DHS employees that were on the no-fly list. So, what, are they going to be uh, denied their right to carry a gun as a freaking DHS agent? I mean, this is, this is foolishness. It's all foolishness, and it's people going around in circles seeing who can be the bigger idiot. I mean, we've got Paul Ryan that is a complete sellout. I mean, what, you'd call him a, uh, I guess, liberal Democrat as the Speaker of the House. Then you've got the Democrats, which are largely a bunch of spoiled children. Then you've got our leader, who refuses to lead and we have two candidates one that will surely lead to our demise and another which is a wild card hmm. it is what it is although the wild card makes some good statements so let's hope that when he takes office it'll be uh, well that he'll at least keep up with what he's saying because if so We'll have a old school progressive, you know, an 80s progressive, back when people wanted real equality. And, you know, you don't necessarily get an equality of outcome in an equal world. You just get a fair chance. And hey, that's what we need. And these people are just doing a big circle jerk, you know. Just a big, crazy, stupid circle jerk. The very thing they ask for in the beginning. It's like, here you go, here's your vote. I'm like, nope, 
Maybe, maybe they'll have another sit-in over giving them what they wanted from their last sit-in. I swear. It is so ridiculous. I, I lack the words at times. <sighs> well, I just had to put this out there having seen this. And um, so, yeah. Let them know that they're doing something right for once. <laughs> oh, man. Our politicians are lunatics. Anyway, bye. Mm.